Wormholes, the ultimate shortcut through space-time. Today we're going to explore this fascinating topic and learn what wormholes are, how they work, and what they could mean for the future of space travel and time travel. The Andromeda Galaxy is the closest spiral galaxy to our own Milky Way Galaxy, located at a distance of about 2.537 million light-years from Earth. It is the largest galaxy in the local group which is a collection of over 54 galaxies that includes the Milky Way and its satellite galaxies. The Andromeda Galaxy has a diameter of approximately 220,000 light-years, making it slightly larger than the Milky Way. Well, is it possible to reach the Andromeda Galaxy? Yes, it might be possible with a wormhole. 1. What are wormholes? So, in simple terms, a wormhole is a hypothetical passage through space-time that connects two distant points. It's like a tunnel that shortcuts the distance between two locations in space. According to the theory of general relativity, wormholes could theoretically exist, but they have not yet been observed in the real world. 2. History of Wormhole Theory Wormholes were first theorized in 1916, though that wasn't what they were called at the time. While reviewing another physicist's solution to the equations in Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, Austrian physicist Ludwig Flamm realized another solution was possible. He described a white hole, a theoretical time reversal of a black hole. Entrances to both black and white holes could be connected by a space-time conduit. In 1935, Einstein and physicist Nathan Rosen used the theory of general relativity to elaborate on the idea, proposing the existence of bridges through space-time. These bridges connect two different points in space-time, theoretically creating a shortcut that could reduce travel time and distance. The shortcuts came to be called Einstein-Rosen bridges, or wormholes. 3. How do wormholes work? Wormholes work by warping the fabric of space-time, creating a shortcut between two points in space. In analogy, consider an ant walking across a flat sheet of paper from point A to point B. If the paper is curved through the third dimension so that A and B overlap, the ant can step directly from one point to the other, thus avoiding a long track. 4. Stabilizing Wormholes The mouth of a wormhole is a region of intense gravitational forces that can only be stabilized by exotic matter with negative energy density. Once a wormhole is stabilized, objects can pass through it and travel between two distant points in space in a fraction of the time it would take using traditional space travel methods. Einstein's equations tell us that the stress-energy tensor needed to produce the metric for wormholes requires a large quantity of negative mass energy that must be concentrated in a very small region of space. Einstein's theory of general relativity mathematically predicts the existence of wormholes, but none have been discovered to date. A negative mass wormhole might be spotted by the way its gravity affects light that passes by. 5. Exotic Matter Exotic matter is a theoretical concept in physics that refers to a hypothetical form of matter with peculiar properties not found in ordinary matter. It is often discussed in the context of certain theoretical models, such as general relativity and quantum field theory, to explore phenomena like wormholes, faster than light travel, and negative energy. Exotic matter is often described as having negative energy density. In standard physics, energy density is expected to be positive or zero, it is also associated with the violation of certain energy conditions, such as the weak energy condition or the null energy condition. 6. Wormholes vs. Black Holes Certain solutions of general relativity allow for the existence of wormholes where the mouth of each is a black hole. However, a naturally occurring black hole, formed by the collapse of a dying star, does not by itself create a wormhole. This radiation could be the key to differentiating between a wormhole and a black hole, previously assumed to be indistinguishable from the outside. But black holes should produce fewer gamma rays and eject them in a jet, while radiation produced by a wormhole would be confined to a giant sphere. Although the kind of wormhole considered in this study is traversable, it would not make for a pleasant trip. Because it would be so close to the center of an active galaxy, the high temperatures would burn everything to a crisp. But this wouldn't be the case for all wormholes, such as those further from the galactic center. The idea that galaxies can harbor wormholes at their centers is not new. Take the case of the supermassive black hole at the heart of the Milky Way. This was discovered by painstakingly tracking of the orbits of the stars near the black hole, a major achievement which was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2020. 
but one recent paper has suggested this gravitational pull may instead be caused by a wormhole. 7. Spotting wormholes in the sky How can we ever prove that wormholes exist? In a new paper, published in the monthly notices of the Royal Society, Russian astronomers suggest they may exist at the center of some very bright galaxies and propose some observations to find them. This is based on what would happen if matter coming out of one side of the wormhole collided with matter that was falling in. The calculations show that the crash would result in a spectacular display of gamma rays that we could try to observe with telescopes. 8. The Challenges of Wormhole Travel Science fiction is filled with tales of traveling through wormholes, opens a new tab. But the reality of such travel is more complicated, and not just because we've yet to spot one. The first problem is size. Primordial wormholes are predicted to exist on microscopic levels, about 1033 centimeters. However, as the universe expands, it is possible that some may have been stretched to larger sizes. Another problem comes from stability. The predicted Einstein-Rosen wormholes would be useless for travel because they collapse quickly. You would need some very exotic type of matter in order to stabilize a wormhole, said Stepan HSU from University of Oregon, and it's not clear whether such matter exists in the universe. Exotic matter, which should not be confused with dark matter or antimatter, contains negative energy density and a large negative pressure. Such matter has only been seen in the behavior of certain vacuum states as part of quantum field theory. While the idea of faster-than-light travel through wormholes is exciting, there are many theoretical challenges that must be overcome for wormhole travel to become a reality. For example, the gravitational forces at the mouth of a wormhole are incredibly strong, and any object passing through it would need to avoid being crushed. Additionally, the use of exotic matter to stabilize the wormhole is purely theoretical, and it's not clear if such matter even exists in the real world. 9. The Implications of Wormholes for Space Travel and Time Travel Wormholes may not only connect two separate regions within the universe, they could also connect two different universes. Similarly, some scientists have conjectured that if one mouth of a wormhole is moved in a specific manner, it could allow for time travel. Despite the challenges, wormholes remain a fascinating concept with potentially enormous implications for space travel and time travel. If we could learn how to create and stabilize wormholes, we could potentially travel to distant parts of the universe in a matter of seconds or even explore parallel universes. Wormholes could also allow us to travel back in time, although the challenges of time travel are even greater than those of faster-than-light travel. 10. Future Possibilities You can go into the future or into the past using traversable wormholes, astrophysicist Eric Davis told Life Science. But it won't be easy, it would take a Herculean effort to turn a wormhole into a time machine. It's going to be tough enough to pull off a wormhole. However, British cosmologist Stephen Hawking has argued that such use is not possible. 10, 9, a wormhole 8, is not really 7, a means of going back 6, in time, it's a shortcut, so that something that was far away is much closer, 2, according to NASA's 1, Eric Christian. Zero and lift. So, there you have it. An introduction to the fascinating world of wormholes. While much of this remains purely theoretical, the study of wormholes remains an exciting area of research in theoretical physics. Who knows what the future may hold? Perhaps one day we will be able to explore the universe through wormholes and unlock the secrets of time and space.